Welcome back to Crypto Winrate. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make spot purchases on Hyperliquid. Now, I am assuming you have a wallet and you know how to deposit into Hyperliquid. But if you don't, we do have a step-by-step -step guide that will show you how to deposit into Hyperliquid. You can just check it out in the description down below. Now, the first thing we want to get to know before we make a spot trade is the fees on Hyperliquid. All right, so we're just going to go to more and press on docs. All right, then we're going to go to trading, fees. Okay, and we're going to check out spot fees. So here we can see the taker and the maker fees on the base rate, as well as the tier system based on your 14 day weighted volume. Okay, so just a simple rundown. All right, the taker fees are when you make a market order. Okay, so they are set at 0.070%. And the maker fees are when you set a limit order, and they are set at 0.040%. Okay, and this is just the zero tier level. Obviously, if you have more volume, you will get more discounts on your trades. Speaking of discounts on your trades, we have set up a nice 4% discount on all of your trading fees for anybody watching this video who wants to get started using Hyperliquid. So you can just scroll down and click the link in the description and it will get you started. Now that we understand the fees, the next thing we're gonna do is just transfer our balance to the perp account. With Hyperliquid, the default account is perps. All right, so we just have to remember that. We can just go over to transfer to spot here and quickly confirm that transfer in our wallet. Now remember, there are no gas fees on Hyperliquid. So that is a big feature of the Hyperliquid chain. All right, so that did not cost us anything. And now we can see we have our nine USDC in our spot account. Now we can go up here, okay? Make sure we are in the spot section and we can just look at all the different pairs we can trade via spot on Hyperliquid. Here we see strict and all, okay? strict has a lot less pairs. All, obviously, we have a lot more to choose from. Now, the main difference between strict and all is strict are tokens that have higher liquidity and are more top tier, whereas all is just lots of different tokens, all right? So pretty much the Hyperliquid team is telling you if you stick with strict, okay, you're going to have less slippage and there's going to be liquidity for your trades and they are fully backing these tokens. Whereas all, you can find smaller tokens that can be more risky. So we just have to keep that in mind. Okay, so for this video, we are going to stick to the strict option. All right, we can also sort these tokens by 24 hour change, volume, and market cap. All right, you can also favorite tokens that you do trade a lot. Okay. So I can make a list here and they will just be at the very top of the list. A nice perk of favoriting tokens is you can see them up here. So you have a nice little dashboard so you can see the percentage movements of the tokens that you want to track. So for this video, I am going to be trading hype. All right. Next, we are going to go through the different types of orders that you can make. Okay. So we have the market order where we can just choose the size that we want to make and place that order it's fairly simple this is the slippage and the fees okay so a 9 USDC order will end up being 888 with the fees all right we can also place a limit order and choose the price that we want to make that order at okay so we can see here that hyperliquid is trading around 40. I don't want to purchase it until it gets down to 38. So I could put that there. And then once my order goes through, the order will not be executed until that price is hit. So that is market and limit. Now let's go into pro over here and check out scale and TWAP. First, we can check out TWAP. And the way TWAP works is it's mainly for people with higher amounts of liquidity. So people who want to buy or sell very large orders, especially with tokens that have lower liquidity. So how this works is you see here, we have 
five minutes to 24 hours. What this means is let's say we'll set this to 20 hours. Okay, so we see here the runtime of these orders is 20 hours. There will be an order set off every 30 seconds for the next 20 hours. The number of orders will be 2400. So this type of order again is best used when you have a lot of cash and you are afraid that a large order will affect the token price. So by using a TWAP order, you are going to spread that large order over a longer period of time. So hopefully it won't affect the price of the token as much. Now the other pro order over here is scale. And now what scale is, is a way to set up multiple orders, all right? at different price points. So we can see hype is at 40, okay? I am going to put in orders at starting at $39 and ending at $30. And I'm going to put in nine different orders. So pretty much what this means is the first order will be put in at 39 and the last order will be put in at 30. So I put in nine orders to make it a little easier to understand, but pretty much every dollar hype will go down, an order will be filled, all right? And the size skew is a little bit more complicated, but pretty much if I would switch it to two, that means that the last order filled will be twice as big as the first order. So if we have a $9 order with nine different orders, between 39 and 30 and a size skew of two. That means that the last order, so the order at 30, will be twice as big as the first order. So the orders will gradually become larger until the last order is double the first order. So you could use this size skew if you want to dollar cost average into a position and you want to have bigger orders when the price is lower. You could also do the opposite when you are selling. You can set the first order at 41 and the last one at 49. And again, with the higher size skew, the first order will be twice as small as the last order. So pretty much you are selling less as the price is lower. And as the price goes up, you will be selling more and more of your token. So now that we understand the different spot orders we can make on Hyperliquid, let's go ahead and make a market buy. Now the minimum amount that you can make a spot purchase with on Hyperliquid is 10 USDC. So I just sent a little bit more to my account so we can make this order. So the full order size is now 1361. We are making a market buy for the hype token. Let's place our order. All right, so we can see we bought 0.33 of hype at 40.64.4. And now we can see in our balances that this is our hype balance. Now, before we sell our hype balance, we could do a few things with it. We could send it via spot account to another one of our wallets. And we could also transfer the token from the Hyperliquid DAP to the Hyper EVM. The DAP is called Hypercore. So what we have been using is Hypercore. Technically, we still are on the Arbitrum network. So if we did want to send our hype to the Hyper EVM chain, this would be a good way to do that. We are going to have some upcoming videos about using the Hyper EVM and all the different applications that you can use on it. So stay tuned for those future videos. So now we are deciding we want to sell our balance. So all we need to do is either make a market or a limit sell. For the sake of this video, we're just going to make a market sell. So we're just going to sell. Okay. We're going to sell our full balance and we're going to place that order. And we sold our hype. And this is our loss. And this is the value from our sell. And that about wraps up my Hyperliquid spot trading guide. If you did like this video, remember to like and subscribe to Crypto Winrate. You can also check out our website at CryptoWinRate.com where we have tons of crypto content and lots of educational guides that you can sift through. Lastly, 
If you do want to get started trading on Hyperliquid today, you can just scroll down and click the link in the description and you'll be able to get 4% off all of your trading fees. Appreciate your time and bye for now.